In this bit of sensors video, we will be using the Mikronos HAL2425 sensor. It's this one right here, and we have a magnet setup that we're going to use to measure over a linear range. Today I'm going to show you quickly how to do a calibration for this sensor. Let's go to the programmer and turn the sensor on. Now I happen to know that my magnet is pretty weak, so I'm going to use the most sensitive setting of 6 milliteslas. Update the memory. And then I'm going to go to the calibration tab. So currently on the lowest sensor position, we get an output of about 0.5 volts. And if we move all the way up, we get about 5 volts. So that's already a very good range. Now, let's say that we want to calibrate the sensor for a smaller range. And we want to only output about 3 volts. Now, it's currently being supplied by about 6 volts. So let's make the output limit 50%. Then we can say run the calibration. Click OK and let it update the default values. OK, now we need to move the sensor into the first position. This is the position where you get the smallest voltage reading. Click on set point 1. And you'll see the values are updated. Then let's move the sensor up to the highest position and hit set point 2. All right, and then to calculate all the gains, we just hit calculate and we see all the values are updated. And finally, click write and store to save the values into the sensor. Okay. Going back to the setup, now you can see on the lower rail we have 0.6 volts, which is the 10% of 6 volts, which is VDD. And if we go up, then we get all the way to 3 volts. All right, and remember, we still need to linearize the sensor. Currently, we're just calibrating the range, and you also have to do the temperature calibration for the sensor. Thanks for watching, and remember you can buy these products at semiconductorstore.com.